portrait drawn far away from here just arrived in its New Mexico home. It's a sketch of Navajo code talker Chester Nez. The artwork is part of a nationwide project that pays tribute to fallen heroes. Here's Anchor Royal Day. It's an honor. It really is an honor for me to receive this. When Michael Nez saw this sketch of his late father, Chester Nez, he was floored. Dear Chester Nez family, this is all about love. I have a lot of photographs of my dad, but nothing like this. So it means a lot to me to have this. So that's why I'm hanging it a special place in my house here where everybody can see it. In Washington state, Michael Reagan draws portraits as part of the Fallen Heroes Project. He does them free of charge and has done thousands. One of his latest of Mr. Nez, who was one of the original 29 Navajo code talkers. These men developed a code in Navajo the Japanese could not crack, and the code talkers work is credited for helping the U.S. win World War II. It just brought tears to my eyes. It's really beautiful. And when you look at it, you feel like you're looking at him. Judy Shees Avila wrote Nez's memoir before he died. She says the portrait is a special tribute. What a wonderful healing thing this is for people to have a portrait of their loved one. Oh, that's beautiful. The drawing of Chester has had millions of views on Facebook. I'm very, very proud and very grateful to Mr. Reagan for what he did. So the story of his bravery and sacrifice lives on. Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News. Reagan has raised millions for charity by auctioning off his portraits. He has drawn more than 5,000 of them of fallen heroes and sent them to their families. To see his portraits, we have created a link on our website. Look for As Seen On.